In order to get Exchange 2007 installed on your Server 2008 system, there are certain items you have to consider first. Logically, you wouldn't want to install Exchange on a domain controller. It belongs on a member server. With a server running 2008, you don't have to worry about installing the MMC console 3.0 like we did with Server 2003, unless you were using Server 2003 R2, which automatically had the console. You do have to install the .NET Framework and PowerShell, and you should install a few other tools, like the Active Directory Domain Services Remote Management Tools, if you want to prepare the schema or domain from the server running 2008. Being that each server role has a different set of requirements, there are additional features and roles that you may need to consider. For example, the client access servers and mailbox servers require IIS, but the Edge Transport server doesn't. To install these features, you can go into the Server Manager, and then select Features, click Add Features, and here you can see we have the .NET Framework, down here we have Windows PowerShell, here are the Remote Server Administration Tools, and the installation of some of these features will also kick off the installation of certain other roles and features that we may need. For example, if we click the .NET Framework, notice that it tells us there are additional role features that are added. For example, the web server is automatically added if we install the .NET Framework. If we just go to Roles, we can add the web server role to this server. Now you'll notice certain services are automatically turned on for your web server, but other services are not. But it's important for us to make sure that all of the services necessary are turned on. So for example, we need to turn on the Internet Server Application Programming Interface extensions right here, so we'll click that checkbox. If we scroll down to Security, we need to enable Basic, Windows Authentication, Digest Authentication, and Request Filtering is already enabled. For performance, we want Static and Dynamic Content Compression. And under Management, we see we have the console. We want to turn on IIS Management Compatibility, and that should give us all of the features we need in order to have our IIS services up and running on this server. Now, as easy as it is to click the right buttons, if you miss something in this process, the installation will fail and you will have to go back and install the feature or service or role that you need. So you might be thinking, there has to be an easier way to do this. And there is. It's called the command line. In the next lesson, we'll show you how to prepare your servers using the command line interface.